Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube and uh, I do all the solutions to all the hacker rank and leak code problems. So just check my playlists on my channel. I have them for both of them. Uh, this one's called Unique Email Addresses. It's really easy. Um, every email consists of a local name and a domain name separated by an at symbol. Uh, for example, an Alice at leakcode.com. Alice is the local name. Leakcode.com is the domain name. Uh, besides lowercase letters, the emails can contain period or plus symbols, addition symbols. Uh, if you add periods between some of the characters in the local name, uh, part of an email address, the mail will be sent there to the same address without dots in the local name. So if we see periods, we just ignore them. For example, alice.z will just be alice z. Uh, forward to the same email address. Da, 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 da. If you see a plus uh, in the local name, Everything after the plur first plus sign will be ignored. Um, this allows emails to be filtered. For example, m.y plus name will be my at email.com. So just ignore anything after the plus and before the at symbol. So how do we do this? It's pretty easy. We're just going to loop through this. Um, well, first of all, we're going to have a hash set because we want the count. We're going to be outputting. We're going to be in we're going to have input of a bunch of different emails. And we're going to have to, you know, obviously do what we uh, fix these addition and split it into local name and domain name, fix the addition and uh, periods. But um, we want the unique email addresses out of the list that we're given. So we're going to have a hash set because we can just loop through all these emails, this array of emails. Fix will create a fixed version of each email and then we'll put them into a hash set and return the count at the end because a hash set only keeps unique things, unique uh, values. So that's the method here. We're going to have a hash set of strings called unique emails. It's going to be pretty easy. Uh, we're going to do a loop. We're going to use the, kind of the object loop here, so for string email and emails. Just so we have access to the current email as we loop, um, then we're going to go, first we're going to get the index, so we're going to get, I'm going to call it split position, we're going to get the index of the at symbol in the current email, and then this is how we split, we're going to use the substring method, so we're going to do local name is equal to email dot substring from zero to split position, so now we have the local name and the domain name. Um, domain name is going to be set to email.substring just of split position because by default this will just give us the rest of from split position to the end of the email's length. Um, that's pretty much it. And then all we have to do is if local name doc now 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 we've split the email up into before the at symbol and after the at symbol. So we have the perfect um, local name and domain name. Um, so now what we have to do is we have to fix the local name because any other errors are going to be here, the periods and the plus symbols. So um, first thing we'll do is just fix the plus symbol. Anything after the plus symbol can be ignored, so we're just going to get rid of that. So if local name contains the plus symbol, we're going to do the same thing we just did above. We're going to get you know plus um, position is going to be equal to local name dot index of the plus symbol. So now we have the position of that, and then we're just going to do local name is equal to local name dot substring of um, zero to plus position because we only want the things before the we only want to keep what's before the plus symbol. So this just resets our local name to the same thing with the stuff before the plus symbol. Super easy right there. Now all we have to do is use the built-in Java method replace all. Um, replace all periods. We just don't, we want to ignore periods. It just says ignore periods. It's pretty easy. So we just reset local name now. Then we just have the beginning part before the plus symbol to local name dot replace all. And uh, the period is a special character, so we have to use, uh, es we have to escape it with the double backslash here. And then just replace all of the periods in the string with an empty string. So that just gets rid of them. And there we go. Now we have the local name correct and the domain name are correct. We can just construct a new string. So new name is equal to local name 
plus domain name. You don't have to do this. You could just do all this in one step. I'm just doing for code readability. And then we just add it into the hash set. So unique emails add new name. And now all of these new names will be perfect. We'll add them into the hash set as we loop through and only unique values will remain in the hash set. And then we can just, we only want the number of unique emails left. So we just return unique emails dot size. Hopefully that made sense to you guys. It's basically just knowing that hash sets, um, what's going on here? Domain name, email. Oh, sorry about this. I forgot a equal sign. Syntax, everyone has syntax errors. So, you know, there we go. Okay, there it works. Um, this problem is pretty easy. It's just knowing that a hash set has unique values. So that's just what hash sets are built for. Whenever you see unique, think hash set, I guess. Uh, we reconstruct it with the rules that were given, just ignoring periods and removing anything after the plus sign and before the at symbol. We split it in two parts, add them back together, and then check for unique values. So uh, return the size of the hash set. That's it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please check out my other videos. And um, yeah, thanks. See you.